Hello, welcome to another video guide on communication in Canvas Learning Management System. Last time, we featured announcements as a useful communication tool for specific tasks. In this video, we are going to talk about the inbox or email in Canvas. Once again, here's the functionality matrix of the four communication tools in Canvas. The inbox is like your email account in Canvas and you can use it to communicate to your class, to specific groups of students, or to individuals. You may also use it to share documents or files. The discussions, which we will feature in another video, also has similar functions, but note that it's very specific to assessing graded discussions or forums. In this video, we will learn about communicating to all students, to individual students, or to sections of a course using the inbox. We can also use it to communicate with our co-teachers or teaching assistants. We will also cover uses of inbox, pros and cons, some challenges and limitations, and a few relevant case scenarios. When you've successfully logged in, you will see your dashboard. Click Inbox from the global navigation menu on the left. If a feature is in the global navigation menu, it means it's not course specific. Right now, I'm looking at all the emails I have received from all of my courses, including the ones that I always work with, my favorite courses, other important courses, and concluded courses. Finally, you can only send and receive emails from people whom you share a similar course with because Canvas creates the mailing list based on the courses you're enrolled in. So let's create our first email and I'll show you that mailing list I was talking about. To create an email, I'll click on this Compose a Message pencil icon at the top. And right now I'm seeing the Passport to Canvas course. I can still change the course from which I'm sending an email. But if I want to search for people in my course, Passport to Canvas, I click on the directory icon. So earlier I said, I'll show you how to send an email to a group of students, specific students, or even to teachers and TAs. Clicking that directory icon allows you access to these different mailing lists within your course. Right now, I can send any email to any student that are here listed in the course. I can also go back and select the co-teachers that I have in that course or the groups that are within that course. So let's go ahead and send that email to that one special student in this course. And that special student happens to be me. So I scroll down and look for the name of that student. And I click on that name and it appears in the to field. I make sure I type a subject line and a message to that student regarding her performance, her grades, or if there's a special requirement that she needs to complete to pass the course. Okay, case in point. What if I want to send a specific type of feedback to students on their performance along with this email? For example, a video recording or a voice recording from me that highlights their performance. Can I do that with Inbox? The answer is yes. These two buttons here allow you to attach a file and also record a video of yourself or your voice to send along with the email. So that's one cool trick. Okay, finally, I want to show you how you can move from one section of your email to another. So here, I clicked the drop-down arrow and I move from the inbox to all my unread messages and apparently don't have any unread emails. Some emails contain important information that you always want to go back to and you need to separate these emails by starring them. By hovering over the email, you will be able to see a star icon. Click on an email to see action options. Now I clicked on this email and I can see the archive button, I can see the reply all button, or I can just reply to the main sender of the email. There are three gear icons on the right side. Depending on which gear icon you clicked, you'll see almost the same action options. Forward, reply to all, unstar, mark as unread, delete, and unarchive.
In this video, we learned that the inbox is useful for email communication to all your students in your courses or sections. It is useful for privately messaging a group of students or an individual learner on their performance, grades, and other sensitive topics. However, inbox is not useful for graded discussions or general conversations that would otherwise be used for whole class events. Here's a link if you need further information on using inbox or Canvas email. Thank you for joining me today.